Hey, what's up, pirate fans? So, we were uh, coming to this planet because we heard uh, that there was a opportunity to perhaps get some more research or more parts into uh, building our own KF drive for the Argo. So, we've learned of a facility here that has either equipment or scientific research. We're not sure what they've got here, but um, we've heard that uh, Animal was able to pick up some uh, info through uh, the pirates on the planet. So we're going to make our way over there and find out what they've got. It's an out of the way base. We heard that it has no defenses. So we're going to make our way in there as best we can. Now we, you know, when we hear no defenses, we're always, uh, you know, um, suspicious. So we're going to just make our way in there carefully um, and hopefully um, we can figure out what's going on. Now we've been traveling for quite a while to get here. Um, Good to go. But we figured it was probably better if we don't drop nearby just so we don't alert them. So the, our mech warriors have been traveling for about half a day now to get here. Not at full speed, but at about three quarters speed. So hopefully by the time we move up and find out yep. what's here, um, it. We'll be able to get it in and out without anybody knowing. Now they've got a place for a dropship to land too, looks like. So uh, we'll be able to call in our dropship to get us out. Um, which means we'll probably be able to carry more material than what we thought we were going to be able to carry. So I'm hoping we were able to at least get a lot of gear out of this place so we can sell it. And then find some more information about the KF drive. All in that. Now, of course, I know in the uh, in canon, the uh, Argo doesn't actually have a KF drive, but since there was only one ever built and the, pro the second one was never completed, um, yeah. I'm just going to say for the sake of uh, gaming that it does, Confirmed. has the capability of running with a KF drive. They just never put one in. So that's our goal here. So we're going to reserve again. Don't see any mechs. So let's just wait till we're all together here. So let's bring Voodoo up. Uh, let's sprint it over here. Double time. Let's go. I don't want to move in unless we're all ready to do so. So Jasper can just Reporting. stay there. Order. Animal with the missile systems. We'll just stay behind Order. Jasper for now. Let's get payroll yep. up here. Acknowledge. Okay, cool. So now we're ready to move forward. So we're going to reserve back to turn one. Don't know if they've got turrets on this on this base facility or not, but uh, hoping they don't. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's not go full speed. Let's get into a boat here, I think. I understand. Okay, so they do have something up ahead. Um, that could be a mech or a vehicle or something. Standing by. So let's get. Actually, let's reserve. Let's just see what they do here. That's moving on two. All right, so it's already moved. So I don't know if that was a vehicle, a mech, or what is that? If it is a heavy mech, you know, that could be a problem. However, we took on two Marauders last time, so uh, perhaps we get lucky here. Now, we lost a bunch of Flamers last time. This time we have a full load of Flamers on our uh, fire starter. We lost the good Flamers, but, I mean, we still got some okay ones on there now. Roger. Okay, let's just get in here. Let's see what that guy goes on. Well, he's a turn three max. So we're not really wor worried. We're gonna reserve. Roger that. I have no idea Standing what weight by. he is. There's another one coming in. Something. Turn three. Okay, so it's two mediums. Mediums we can handle. So that guy's still reserving. Holding. All right, now I don't know what I want to start with here. Yep. Let's start this way. Copy that. So we can get this guy moving. So what do we have here? Hunchback, Gauss Rifle Plus. Okay, so we got to kill this guy fast, fast, fast. So we're going to open up on him with everything. Confirmed. Well, the medium lasers hit, but the <laughs> PPC didn't. What is it with my uh, my ability for low low percentage weapons to hit, but my high percentage ones just seem to be missing a lot lately? Thank God he missed. Okay, let's apply full damage on this guy. So Jasper, I want you in there fast. Let's get this guy toasty. So I'm not sure how much heat we can generate now with this guy. So let's fire everything. Let's we're getting a lot of extra heat going on here. But we got that plasma lance now too, right? So we can apply some damage to the back of Max with that thing. 
Okay, we're going to be going before him next turn, so it's a good start. So we've got another mech coming in back there. That looked like about 20 missiles, so it could be a Katyushka, maybe? Maybe? It's going on turn one, two, so I don't know if that's a heavy mech, what kind of weight that, what class that mech is. Can we actually see that guy from here? Where can we have to go to see him? Up here. So let's do that. We've got the PPC and streak on him. Firing away. Uh, we're going to fire both. Maybe we get lucky with the PPC. Nope. Splashing a little bit of damage. Let's get Animal in here. See if we can make him unsteady. Can we actually see him anywhere here? Other than... There is nowhere where we can get him. Really. So let's not go on the hill. Let's go here. And I think we've got lots of missiles, so I think we're going to just fire at them. 20%. Eh, not bad. We'll take a chance. Splash a little bit of damage on them. Not a lot, but okay. We'll take it. Alright, so Jasper, let's finish barbecuing this guy. Now, I don't want you to get into a position where we can get shot at by other guys. But once again, we want to remain fairly evasive. So let's move into somewhere like here. Have no doubt. It will be done. Okay, now we got to decide what we're going to use on this guy. So, Vehicle Flamer, yes. Flamer, this first Flamer plus uh, damage 22, 15, heat. Let's turn you off. Plasma Lance will leave off for now. And we'll go this route and try and overheat him. So we got 30, 22, 22, and 22. Nice. Fair bit of damage, 96 heat, and you shut down. And now, What's up, boss? can we get in there to see him anywhere? We can. Where's the best place to shoot him from, though? Don't think it really matters. Let's go right into here. Affirmative. So we're going to come around. Really good chances to hit. Um, question is, do we want to maximize salvage on this guy or not? Could go after the leg, go after the torso. Does he have XL engine? No, he does not. The best role is Goss ammo. Is OP. Destroy the Goss ammo. Or we could just go for a headshot. Let's just go for the headshot. Let's just do it. I don't know. Uh, just, we just need one or two. Maybe a knockdown after this. Okay, he's stressed. No headshot. Okay. So this is going to be a kill mech. We're going to have to kill him. Because I don't want to run the risk of uh, getting into trouble with the rest of these guys coming in here. So we're moving in close. Indicator P. Gonna fire both weapons just straight on them. Chance for a knockdown? No. Panicked. Unsteady. Nice. Kintaro. So these guys overheat nicely. And they also do a lot of damage nicely, apparently. Light damage, Commander. That's not yeah. light damage, buddy. If you're picking your lunch up off the freaking cockpit floor, it's not light damage. Okay, so let's unload on this guy. What do we got here? 56 in the leg, 55 in the leg. We could do an offensive push and hope we get the leg, but I think we're just going to fire straight out. Right arm gone, stability check failed, okay. Oh yeah. So we're gonna switch targets now with Jasper. Getting a little bit of lag here, I'm not sure why. This time I'm not uploading or exporting, so. And what's this guy? Trebuchet. That's the regular just one that we have. Okay. Fair enough. Come on. Send me a real mech warrior. Yeah, well, if he gets close, he'll show you how real he is. Two LRM 15s. All right, so Jasper, we're going to switch targets. This uh, Kentaro needs to be invited to our barbecue here. Going to move over here. What can we target him with? Vehicle Flamer generates zero heat. Wow, can't target him with very much, can we? Just hit him with two. Good to go. 
if we hit them. There, they both hit. Nice. 52 heat. Good. So this guy looks like he's got a fair bit of heat sinking in him. Oh, he had two RL-20s. That's why. Light PPC. LRM-10. So he doesn't have that much armor. Okay, animal. Um, I want you back here. And I want you to target that uh, hunchback. We're going to go for headshot once again. Firing everything. 92% chance versus that pulse laser. Come on, one headshot. Nope. Yes, nice. I'll take that. That's that's worth it. That's worth at least three headshots right there. What's this guy doing? Okay, he's gonna just fortify. That's fine with me. Let's move out of this trebuchet's firing arc. Let's move into here. I wasn't really expecting to have to fight this this uh, lance of mechs here, but it must mean that this base is really well. Uh, there's some good stuff in here that we can use. So, reaching shot, headshot, nice. Trebuchet is going to get to fire on our Vindicator. Damn it. Or our Blackjack, I mean, sorry. Okay, he's managing his heat, which is good. That's all you got? Oh, don't say that. You know, you know, when you say that, you just get yourselves into trouble. You know that. Let's come around this side. On it. Just going to walk it over there. Lose our instability. Firing on him. We're going to use, I think... Just the three medium lasers. Firing. Just for now. He's not dealing with the heat very well. So let's let let's let Jasper uh, do a little bit more work on this guy. So we can use more flamers now. Let's use the triple plus flamers. Can we use another one? No, we can't really. No. So we're just going to use these. Yeah, I'm thinking that plasma lance is probably a waste on this mech. We can barely manage the heat as it is right now, so... Okay, animal. Commander. Let's walk it over. Gonna go after this guy. Gonna go for some headshots. We've already gotten one headshot. Let's see if we can get another. Firing away. Just one. I only use one. Yep, there we go. Nice. So he's unstable. And we're gonna move Voodoo. Walk her back over here. A little bit of height, maybe a better chance to hit. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with the PPC and the uh, SRMs. Maybe we can knock this guy over. Nope. I forgot that his, uh, losing his heat was uh, also making him stable as well. So, Okay, so yep. payroll... Gonna shift our fire a bit to the right here. I'll do what I can. Getting our stability back once again. Unloading on this guy. We're gonna go PPC and everything. This should be. Okay, that guy's gone. Face plant. Target destroyed. Okay, so let's wrap this up. How might I help? You can start by barbecuing this guy. Can't use everything this time. Oh, well, we can. What do you know? All right. Three flamers. He's going down. 74 heat. Wow. This thing does crazy heat. A crazy heat. It's good to go. Definitely need more vehicle flamers, though. With uh, zero production on heat. Definitely need those. So we're going to fire on this guy. Leave the pulse laser off. Give him a little bit of taste of his own medicine. Hope for a head hit here. Nope. Let's see what he does. Coming in for a bit of melee, I think. Sixty-five. Okay, we got the armor to take that shot. Losing lots of armor. It's okay. We're gonna shut this guy down next turn. Okay, so voodoo. Like that, one with the voodoo. One person with the voodoo curse here. We're gonna move back. And if we fire both, well, let's leave the PPC off. We're gonna do an offensive push. Just fire on this guy. Random shot on his head. We just gotta push him back one turn. Oh, we got a head hit on it. Nice. Okay, yeah. payroll. Step it back over here. Gonna do an offensive push. If 
firing on this guy again and we're gonna aim for the leg with as much as we can okay I'm on it one hit okay structure exposed nice all right so Jasper we're gonna walk you over here attack from the side and we're gonna unload flamers on this guy again let's take off just one can we go with a uh, yeah. yeah we can go with a cooler flamer on this so we can fire three two hits nice shut him down excellent so now we all go before he does so the goal now is to injure this guy so that we can take this mech so nobody's gonna move animal we're gonna reserve voodoo you're not moving either you're just gonna fire we're gonna aim for the leg 57 so we're gonna fire away fire. here not quite enough to get that leg okay so payroll actually you know what animal we're gonna move you over and we're gonna go after the leg here so let's do 33 let's just fire everything go after this leg don't think we'll kill, but we might get a head hit, which would be nice, and then when we knock it down... Okay, torso, and then he'll, he'll fall over, and we got him. That's it for him. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Payroll, let's go get the payroll. Let's go find out what we can get in here. Hopefully we can get some stuff we can sell. Maybe it's technology. Let's go. It looks more, more like a research base than it does a facility with... Uh, oh, they might have some stuff in the warehouses. Uh, Commander? Check it out when we get there. Alright, payroll stepping in here. End this up. The asset has been secured. Excellent. So now we can uh, loot this place and get out of here. Alright, so we were able to sell stuff for about 334000 which isn't bad at all. Now, I had to sell some money before we left because we have a, a uh, financial report coming up right after this mission. I wanted to make sure we had enough to cover that off, so I had to sell a bunch of our gear to be able to get this. So we do have a bit of cash we'll, we'll have left over. 1000 experience for everybody. And I don't think we lost any components here, which is excellent. Well, unfortunately, we weren't able to grab all that much off the ground while we were looting the building. Um, we had a lance of another lance of mechs coming to to intercept us. So rather than staying stick around for for them to arrive, we grabbed what we could. We grabbed some trebuchet parts, Kentaro part, you know, Gauss rifle plus, uh, LRM 15, and a fusion core. We grabbed just salvaged as much as we could just pick up and take with us. So wasn't so bad. Well, wow, look at that. So we picked up enough trebuchet parts to be able to build another trebuchet, which well we've already got two now. So now we've got three. Uh, SRM 6s instead of LRM 8, uh, LRM 15s, so a couple of extra heat sinks. So this is actually might not be a bad bad mech, so we'll check it out once we get in there. Uh, it's going to be our, uh, our time for the uh, financial report. It's just looking at Lothian versus Hegel Edgemony. These guys are still fighting. We're really close to them, so maybe we'll head over there and see what we, we can do to help out. Merrick versus Sending Circinus Federation. So they are really... They took two... Le two or returned to system Sir, Sir Kinnis, so attacking side lost the war, so Sir Kinnis and Magic Street Canopus yeah, it looks like they won well that's interesting Lao vs. St. Ives World vs. Davian, Tarians vs. Restoration, that's it so it cost us 15,000 in damages which really isn't that bad considering we made about 320,000 so here's our financial report we're up to 482,000, we're still slowly eking our way up um, as we get more Argo stuff running um, and things like that will uh, end up starting to go up higher. Our pilots are going to start costing us more as well the more experience that they get but uh, you know we can handle that. So that's the end of uh, uh, Pirate Lance for this week or this day that is. Um, when we come back next time um, we should have plenty of time to uh, refit a bunch of mechs and get them going. Let's just quickly go to the mech bay here and see what we get off that uh, trebuchet.
So let's just refit this guy. So we pulled the Locust out of the lineup because we don't need him now. We might end up pulling the Panther out as well. Um, simply because um, we can work with a uh, trebuchet now. So this guy's got what? One, he's got two. Let's just do this here. Let's repair all. So it's pretty much the same as a regular trebuchet. Lots of uh, laser hard points and two uh, missile hard points. We might be able to um, trick one of these guys out with um, the two LRM, Clan LRM 15s. Um, so we could do that, or we could move the Clan LRM 15s forward to the other trebuchet for our other lance and, you know, put something else in here. But we'll figure that out next time. Um, or we can go with SRM 6s with dead fire ammo too and put a, put a bigger engine in this, this guy to make him a little faster. But we'll, we will repair him for now. Let's confirm this. It's only going to cost 68000 and we will end this episode of Rogue Tech for today. So once again, another successful mission. Uh, we encountered some uh, resistance that we weren't hoping to get, but uh, that's fine. So I'll see you all next time.